If you like the lecture, don't forget to like and subscribe so you will get notified for all the new lectures. Thank you for joining our first assignment session. This is a part of the Information Security Specialist Career Pass program. This program will qualify you to work as an Information Security Specialist in any organization. So you're going to need to learn the skills and knowledge you need to have to be able to work in such a position. Before starting our first assignment, and to simplify the process of this assignment and all the upcoming assignment, here is what I want you to do. I want you to get or to consider yourself hired in an organization as an information security specialist. Consider yourself that you already get hired and you need to start working and implementing security in this organization. What should be done? You get hired in an organization. It's a new organization. They didn't have any security in place or any control in place and they ask you to implement everything from scratch. It could be a, like a hospital. It could be an office, a bank, whatever. What should be the process to implement information security in any organization. What should you do and how it should be implemented? And according to that, we're going to clarify all the upcoming assignment as a part of your job in this organization. So we're going to take them according to their criticality, what need to be done first, then second, then third, and so on and so forth. And by finishing this program, you're going to be, uh, uh, or you're going to get the skills in all the different phases in any information security implementation uh, in an organization. So instead of considering that as a training, I want you to consider that as a real job uh, implementation. And the assignment, you can consider them as an assignment from management you are filling or you are doing the assignment and send them for evaluation, not as an academic task, but more as a business requirement. Before start explaining our first assignment, we need just to clarify a very important concept that we need to start with. You, as an information security specialist, you have the you as an information security specialist, your main role in any organization is to implement something called ISMS or Information Security Management System. So this need to be kept in your mind. What exactly is your role is to implement an ISMS. And the ISMS actually is the main information security system that you need to implement in any place. And this is the core of the ISO 27001 which you're going to explain, it will be one of the assignment uh, by the end of this program. But the concept or the system that you are building is ISMS. And to clarify what is ISMS, is that you, are, you get hired in an organization to secure their information. If you get hired in a bank or in a government or in a financial institute, whatever business, usually their information is their main assets, their financial information, their customer information, they may be keeping some credit card or financial information from customer. Those are the real information that you get hired to secure them. So what will be the system that you're going to implement to make sure that the information of this organization are secured and not getting compromised by any malicious hacker or not getting lost because of not providing the proper control in place? So what you are doing, your main title or this is what needs to be written in your resume as well, that you know how to implement ISMS. So this needs to be kept in your mind. Secondly, since our job is to mainly protect the information, your name or your title is Information Security Specialist. So we are talking about securing information mainly, right? Information could be soft copy, like document on the computer, could be hard copy, could be databases, could be software that have information or programs, but all kinds of information, even people, sometimes you consider some of the people information assets, 
because maybe they have the know-how for a specific assignment or for a specific task that is critical for a business. So information in all shapes, uh, soft copy, hard copy, uh, people, all kind of information. This is your role to secure them. And security is not always technical control. It's not just putting a password on, on, on a computer. It's not just putting an access control. This is not the only security that you need to implement. Security, as you're going to see in the CISSP training, it's, it's three different areas. Technical, or also called logical, and uh, physical security, and administrative security. So this is what we're going to learn during this program. Okay, so you get hired and your management asks you, what should be the first step? Okay, you're going to build an ISMS from scratch. What is your first step? What should you do first? Okay, what should I do first as an information security specialist? Because my position is to secure the information, so I need to identify the information. I get hired, I need to know this organization with different department and different people, what kind of information they have and how critically this information are. And according to that, I'm going to decide what kind of control I will be implementing or what kind of security I'll be implementing or how much I'm going to spend. So I need first to identify the security that, I'm sorry, to identify the information that this organization have. And this will be your first assignment. So usually people who get hired as an information security specialist, the first document that they need to make sure they have, it's a document called Information Asset Register, or IAR. This is very, very important document. Because unless you know what you are securing, how are you going to secure it? If you don't know what information this organization have and how critical they are, how can you suggest a budget or buy any equipment to secure and so on? So the first thing that you need to have is to have a document like that where you identify all the assets with different shape as we explained. So this is like a template. You can find different templates. Just search on, uh, on Google about IAR template, Information Asset Register template. And this is a very, very important document. So here you are writing down the name of the asset. It could be a software. It could be a file, a document, an Excel sheet. What does this file have? The location of this file who's the owner and who's the custodian. And I already explained in the first CISSP uh, section what is the difference between owner and custodian. And in brief, the owner is the one who are owning the information, which is usually the organization, while the custodian is the one who are managing it. For instance, if you work in a bank, all the information, all the document and everything that people have, uh, that the bank have, even if you are the one who created those Excel sheet and document, does it belong to you? I mean, if you left the bank, do you have the right to take them with you? No, you are just managing them. You are just creating them, updating them. But the owner is the bank while you are the custodian. So when we are doing an information asset register, we need to identify the owner, which is usually the organization or the department. And who's the custodian who are managing this document or who are managing those report in ways that if they get lost, I can see who was responsible for this document. Uh, some document like volume or, or personal data, it's not really important, depend about what information. Uh, where they are located, uh, the format of this document, is it a document or a soft copy? Uh, uh, Please ignore right now the risk and impact because I will explain that in a different assignment. But the point is, identify the document, uh, uh, the owner, the custodian, the location, and the classification. Is it a critical document or a confidential or is it a public document? So this is the first document that need to be in place to be able to implement ISMS. So please add classification. I will share the, the, this uh, uh, template with you, but actually you can look for something easier if you are not comfortable with this, or you can do your own, but you need to identify what should be inside. So this is the document, which is the basics that we're going to build on it, many things like doing risk assessment, 
classification next assignment will be about classification dlp and what tools are used for that and so on and so forth now okay who is filling this document i mean now you are aware of the document how critical is it is it you as an information security specialist you're going to sit and fill all the document of this organization definitely not because how can you know about different department how can you know the document in finance department or hr department or operation department you are not the one who's doing that right the one who's filling this document in each department you give this document to each department in the organization and you ask them to fill it guys i want you to fill that and to identify all the information assets that you have by the way we are talking about information assets and not physical assets i mean we should not write down here like a share or a mouse or a cable this is not an information asset document uh, yeah, i'm sorry it's not a physical asset document it's information assets getting back to our point who should fill that this document should be filled by different business department. So what is your role accordingly? Your role will be to explain to them how it needs to be filled and then review the document. This is your role. You, management will ask you, okay, what are you going to do first? Then you're going to tell them, okay, I'm going to make each department fill an information security, information asset register. And I'm going to make sure it's kept in a safe place and the document get updated frequently. Whenever they have any information assets, it will be updated. So each department will have its own document and your role and responsibility to make sure that the document is in place and it's updated. This is always a part of any audit that will happen to your organization. So what is your first assignment? Here is what you need to do. Getting back to our scenario that you get hired, hopefully, in an organization and they ask you, you the management said to you and ask you what will be your first step. So you're going to tell him, I'm going to ask the department to fill uh, an information asset register be, to identify our information assets. Now, the problem with our jobs as an information security specialist is that unless we have management support, no one will give attention to what you are saying. So for instance, if you go to each department and, and give them this document or email them this, this document and ask them to fill it, believe me, no one will do it because they think this is an additional work. So the re request should come from management. You should ask the management, please give me your support. Send to all the department a circular telling them, we hired this gentleman as an information security specialist please support him with any task that he assigned to your department. Otherwise, nothing will finish. So please consider that management support in our job is quite critical. And whenever you get a question in an interview that what is the most important like uh, support you need to have uh, or factor you need to consider while working in a position like that is to have management support. So the point is to be able to get management support and management sent to all department, ask them to reply back to your email or to fill the documents that you're going to send to them. You need to explain the management why you are asking the department to fill this document. It's an extra work, right? So you need to convince management. This is critical. This is the basic of your job. So I want you to create a presentation that will be provided or that you're going to present to management explain to him why do we need in our organization startup organization we need to have an information asset register and this asset register need to be filled by all the department and need to be updated whenever there is a change uh, uh, change uh, and what is the reason of having that and why it's critical not to have an information asset register and what is the content of information asset register so i want you to explain to the management uh, uh, how to do that and uh, uh, the purpose of doing it and what is the content of that and uh, the importance uh, and do that in a presentation in a way that when I read it I'm going to consider that you present that to me and I'm going to evaluate about in, like you're able to convince me of the importance or not 
So this will be your first assignment. Once you do the assignment, please uh, submit it to the Google Classroom. I will send you the Google Classroom uh, link and I will review it, evaluate it and reply back to you. The time of this assignment is three working days because next week we're gonna have a very, very important assignment regarding classification and DLP. It's a very, very important assignment. Best of luck.